Hello, and welcome to another episode of In Real Life with Adrena. I am so excited about today's episode because I am joined with the coupon genius, and she is such a fun friend to have online. And yes, we did meet online because we live like, what, I don't know, <laughs> hundreds of miles <laughs> apart. So um, without further ado, I would like to have the coupon genius introduce herself, and then she will also tell you how she got started with couponing and uh, kind of like her why behind her business. So yes, my name is Mikaela, and I'm the coupon genius, and I teach people how to shop in a creative way by using my little friends called coupons. And I started off 11 years ago. I worked as a corporate finance working for a Fortune 500 company and they laid me off and I was just looking for ways to save. And couponing just dropped upon my heart and I started, I sucked at it the first four years. And I had friends and family asking me, hey, how did you do this? You went to Kroger, you went to Walmart and just twirled the register to zero or at least close to it. How did you do it? And I didn't have time to text message, call all 50 of those people on my Facebook. So I just randomly started posting my stuff on Instagram and Facebook. And next thing you know, I had like five followers and I had 500 followers. Then I had 10,000 followers. Then I had 20,000 followers. And I think on TikTok right now, I'm almost at my 50K mark. I'm at 35 right now. So I'm slated to be in the next month at my 50K. So <laughs> awesome. And so that's how I got started. I was laid off and it was just a means to start to save money in a different way. Yeah. You know, it's interesting how like much of a demand there is out there. You know, a lot of people are interested in couponing and they probably just don't know the first step in getting started. So yes. let's just go ahead and start right there. How would you get started with couponing? Well, it's when you are starting with coupons, I know that the first thing a person wants to do is to get coupons, but it really just starts with your mindset. And also there's a void in the industry. Some people think, hey, I don't have time to coupon, or I just don't know how to do it, or I just, all this stuff behind you, like, I don't need all that. It's your mindset. What I do versus what you do is totally different. This is my lifestyle. You can totally do under the sink in your bathroom, start there, but also keep your finances together. And that's what couponing is all about. You're buying everyday items, your needs. So you don't need to go out and buy what I buy. So when you start, start with your mindset first and everything else will flow. Very nice. Yeah, I feel like a lot of people just want to start like cutting coupons or going to those like couponing websites and just start printing out coupons and buying like all of these random things. And it's like, but are you actually going to use it? Like if you buy it, will you actually need it and use it and eat it or whatever? Uh, the case right. Be. right. And 77% of people when they are redeeming coupons end up spending 10 to 50% more because they don't have the knowledge behind you. You have to figure out how does that store with you as even a person that's never done it before or a couponer that's experienced, how will they handle you? They have this thing called coupon policies. So you definitely wanna look up the coupon policy of that particular store to say, how, how are they going to handle you by using the coupons? That's where the knowledge base comes from. Don't just run and get a coupon. Yeah, because then it's, it is definitely going to cost you more in the long run, whether, you know, you don't have that on your list, on your grocery list each week. So it's like, why are you buying that particular item, you know, and then that kind of drives up your grocery bill each month, which doesn't necessarily help you help you with any financial goals. So right. yeah, all of that is definitely, I would say like finances are number one is to get our mindset right. And I think maybe that's with a lot of things, like with finance, with fitness, with like changing your habits, you just got to start with your mindset first. So that's a great right. It's just like with, with exercising. Of course, you can get that gym membership, but you really have to get your mind right. Like what clothes am I going to wear? Yeah. Where am I going to go to go exercise? Am I going to the park? Yeah. Am I going to actually join a gym? Mm -hmm. What equipment am I going to use? And it's the same with couponing. But I want to make sure that people aren't spending a ton of money by getting, because coupons cost money. I don't know why people think that you can just free this out. You have to get these coupons eventually along the way. I'm not saying don't get it. 
But if you don't start with your mindset, you will end up spending more. And then you'll look at your receipt and you're like, oh, I saved 50%, but you spent $70 to get $40 back. And all of that money is tied to that particular store. It's like, you have to look at your finances first. And a lot of things that you do personally, since couponing is personal finance, and it's more than the stuff that you see behind me, it's food. I like to get, I like to get Fenty. I don't know if you guys know about Rihanna. I'm a love, I love her. You can coupon for stuff like that. Yeah. I get expensive things, but then I use my coupons to twirl the register to zero in a genius way. I love it. I love it. <laughs> and that's, that's really what like the whole goal is, right? You know, is to reduce your costs in one area so that you can spend money in a different area. You know, that's yes. kind of how you yes. balance your own budget, how you balance your own spending and things like that. Yes. So I, I love that. Um, yes. So what would you say, what are some of the things that we do need to buy in order to get started with couponing? Your essentials start and look around your bathroom, your living room, your kitchen, anything in your bedroom, that's where you need to start. Just last year, unfortunately, the pandemic hit all of us and it just yeah. threw us all yeah. off. Yeah. But the things that you see behind me is what everyone needed. Mm -hmm. And I got a lot of backlash online. You know, people that have not seen me, they're like, you stole all the toilet paper and the paper towels. I'm thinking I have timestamps on Instagram where I bought this like in 2014 and I've been doing it forever. <laughs> yeah, that's right. So it's just buy your essentials first and everything will be good. Food. <laughs> I don't know who doesn't like to wipe their face with some paper towels. You need toilet paper to do the thing of the thing. <laughs> so start with what you need right now and, and branch out. It's so easy in the coupon industry to go to a couponing page and you'll see, I don't post and I'm not saying this is a bad thing. This is just what I don't do. You'll see other couponing pages. It's not all of us, but majority of the trend now is to post 20 times a day from um, makeup to dog clippers and things that you just don't need. It's like, just focus on what you need right now and everything else will flow. You can get that other stuff, but number one should be what you have and what you need right now. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. For sure. I I have um, a list, like my own personal list of like household items that I need that I use up every, you know, every month. And yes. so that's where you need to start. Just start writing down a list. <laughs> and it doesn't right. have to be household items. It can also be grocery items too. But some of, what are some of those staples that you that you go through every month? Definitely what you see behind me, the paper towels, the toilet paper, the laundry detergent, my toothpaste that you cannot see right now. And those are things that I focus on. And also my food. I cannot sit in front of my freezer right now because we are <laughs> with Adrena, but you get the whole point. And also do clothes. If you're a type of person where you are a corporate person or you just have to go out and get have clothes for your job, yeah. do that too. Mm -hmm. And those are the staples that you should be going for, what your needs are. My needs are different and your needs are different. Let's say there's a mom out here watching right now. They're like, yes, I need everything here, but what about the pampers and the wipes for the kids? I have that off to the left too, but you don't see that in all of my videos. You need to fi figure out what your needs are right now and focus on that, not focus on what everyone else online is posting those dog clippers um, to socks. You, you may not need that. If you learn how to coupon and DIY it yourself, then everything else will be extra credit online. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, for sure. For sure. It, it is, it is a little bit like, I think people sometimes feel a little like FOMO, like when they see other people posting about like this new cool thing that they got. And it's yeah. like, but is that something that you need? Is that something that you wanted before you saw that posted online? I'm not really sure that that is. Right. And it's also okay to know how to do it on your own. When it comes to couponing, it's so easy to look at others and you are waiting for them to post to do this <laughs> or that. But I'm thinking, know how to get that toothpaste on your own. Have you ever, or maybe people don't think, I post stuff. Have you ever thought like, how did the coupon genius come up with that? How did she do that? Why should I have to wait on her to do it? You know? <laughs> yeah, for sure. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> um, 
So then what would be our next step after kind of like creating that list and, and getting our mindset right? What's the next thing that we need to move to? Well, we talked about it a little bit is the first step isn't, which is number two, do not buy coupons right off the bat. We have to make that list. We have to figure out what we need and then get the knowledge. Go and find that coupon policy for that particular store and go from there. And then you can get your coupons and everything will flow. Now let's talk about the coupon policies. <laughs> These coupons don't drop out of the air and it's for anyone. It does not matter whether you are in the struggle boat or you are making five or six figures because those are the people that I teach. They come from all realms and different sides of the world from the West Coast, the Midwest, the East Coast and all of the things. You have to figure that out. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, absolutely. What are some of your favorite stores that you shop at for couponing? Oh, well, I kind of, some people club hop, I store hop. <laughs> so I go, to my favorite store is CVS. I go okay. to Walgreens. Those are drug stores, like those small stores that are very pricey and expensive. Mm -hmm. um, even to Walmart, I go to Piggly Wiggly. I go to Bilo. Now, I know that Bilo is not a particular store that you may have in your area, but just make that list, which is what I do. And I have a total of like 10 stores that I run to. I just listed a couple that I go to. And they're a mixture of big box stores, as I call it, like Walmart, all the way down to the drug stores. Nice. So do you normally shop every day or do you just like go specifically when they have like the coupon sales? Well, that's a myth. It when I first started, I said at the beginning, I was not great at couponing. The first four years was horrible. I did not ask for help. I just went off the internet and next thing I know, I sucked at it. So I used to coupon, if there's seven days out of the week, I was in there because my adrenaline was kicking. And I noticed that, yeah, I was spending a lot more and I had a ton of stuff that I really did not need. And I ended up donating that or keeping it because couponing is about trying other things. So Right now, I coupon maybe once a week, twice a week. It just depends. I integrate whatever I'm going to spend off of my budget. Mm -hmm. I used to be that person that would say, oh, I'm going to set aside $20 to coupon. It's like, no, you know those categories that are in a budget. Just integrate it already that you, what you have inside of that budget so you don't have to set aside $20. It makes no sense. But I used to be that person that I would think that I need to do that. Yeah. Yeah. I think a lot of people are like that too, where they have like a separate budget for just sales or coupons or things like that, that they might not have like a plan for specifically. And that's why it's so important to like know exactly what you need to buy so that you're not busting your budget. Yeah. And it's okay to track too. In the couponing world, we call it a stock up price list. So whatever the lowest price. So if I get, I don't know, I love Revlon. I love to get makeup, by the way. That's like another category that I get when I coupon. And if I buy this for 49 cents, I'm going to track it. I'm going to track the coupon that I use, what day it was, and all of the things. So when it comes back at that particular store, I'm more than likely going to get that same price, if not lower. There's a pattern to this. So yeah. there's no rush to run out like people did last year and pay full price for the stuff behind you. It's yeah. like, if you're trying to do it right and be a turtle, you don't have to, it's not going to happen overnight. And yeah. you will never hear me say, hey, Let's do this within a month. It's like, just take your time yeah. and figure out and plan and you'll be fine. <laughs> yeah. yeah, and the sales do come back. It's not like it's just like a one and done type of sale. They do return yeah. after months, so. But, but if you're very picky about a specific thing, let's say you love Charmin and you started this couponing journey and they're, all you see is like Bronley paper towels. Whenever that Charmin comes in, you need to stock up. Yeah. Hint, hint, stock up price list that I talked about earlier. Stock up like crazy and get yeah. it and also track to see how much you and your family, if, even if you're single like me, track. If you go through six of those toilet papers every two weeks, okay, that you need a total of 12 for that month. Just track. I put on, on like, I don't have it on here. It's mainly my toilet paper and my canned goods. I'll put like the date that I bought it. Mm -hmm. And then, of course, when it's ended, I'm like, okay, well, it took me two weeks to go through this particular yeah. item. That's tracking. Yes. Yes. I love that. Um, and I do that with my makeup, too, because it's like I need to know because makeup isn't necessarily like the lowest costing item, you know, so no. I need to know how long this little thing is going to like take me. Is it six months? Yeah. Is it three months? Is it two months? <laughs> they have 
shelf life, just like food has shelf life. I mean, toilet paper really doesn't have a shelf life, but this this uh, laundry detergent that you see over here, yes, they do have shelf life. So you want to make sure that you're doing things sanitarily and you're just <laughs> staying within, uh, staying away from death. <laughs> Yes, exactly. Exactly. So uh, I know that you teach all of this stuff inside a course. So would you like to share that with us? Sure. I have a course. It's called Teach Me How to Coupon Bootcamp. Anyone that follows me on TikTok or Instagram, but it's mainly on TikTok. When I post my videos, and this is where I came up with the name, <laughs> um, you'll see in the comment section, teach me, teach me how to coupon, teach me how to coupon. And that's where I created my online course, Teach Me How to Coupon Bootcamp. Doesn't matter whether you are aspiring couponer and you're like, you've never done it before or you're sitting back and watching, or I've even taught people that are 20 year veterans on how to coupon and it's couponing in a genius way. It's not about running and getting all of the things and being, being happy that you did 50% off. Let's reduce your debt. Let's reduce your expenses. So that's the angle that we're going and different strategies that I use. I have four main strategies in my online course, doesn't matter whether you're on the East Coast, West Coast, Midwest, even overseas, I teach people all around the world. Awesome. That is so <laughs> incredible. I love that. Um, and we'll make sure to go ahead and link everything down in the description box below. And uh, how can people find you? Like, uh, are you just exclusively on Instagram or where else are you located that people can find you? I am everywhere. So if you are on TikTok, <laughs> The Coupon Genius. If you're on Instagram, The Coupon Genius. If you're on YouTube, The Coupon Genius. And I always have a link somewhere on my social media for you to click on to join me awesome. as well as just look at my post. Just come to TikTok and just join me. <laughs> I'll go from there. Awesome. <laughs> well, I am not quite on TikTok yet. Probably won't be, um, but we will go ahead and link everything uh, down in the description box below. I'm so excited to have the Coupon Genius here with us today and go ahead and check her out at the links below. And we will see you guys in the next episode of In Real Life with Adrena.